so um, we can work with that but of course I'm only demonstrating this with a flat color an opaque solid color but uh, just so you can see how to twist the shapes around uh, let me go up the histogram here and undo what I did and come back and show you another distort uh, let's let I get transform distort let's not do another distort let's uh, do some other transformations like scale uh, you could just take just it won't let you do what distort does this is very straightforward in and out up and down just to change the size okay um, now before I go out of this transformation instead of clicking on something to go to the next step to uh, seal it in its place I'm gonna go back to uh, edit transform and continue working with it uh, rotate this is the one I like I like to grab a corner and manually rotate it the way I want it of course you can't change the scale of it and rotate so you might want to do that before you and uh, let's let's see maybe you wanna flip it horizontally bam <laughs> we got us a uh, moon there and just keep playing with it till you figure out if you like something I like distort the best I, could, I don't even have to rotate it I could take it and move it any way I want pretty much by grabbing the corners until I feel comfortable with the ribbon okay so basically and then when you're done uh, just click on any ob uh, tool and uh, apply alright that's a grainy ribbon I don't like it but that's uh, one demo of how to make a ribbon uh, in opaque solid colors now more than likely uh, if you're putting um, these ribbons over a background you're gonna make them transparencies you could do that with a solid ribbon like this one let's just make it a darker color here from the uh, the tool palette let's make it let's make it something else let's make it red just for demonstration I'm gonna take the ink buck uh, the paint bucket and drop a red in there alright so there we go now that's a solid red but if you want to take uh, from your layer your layer tools box and t go to your opacity level and take the slide tool and make it a transparency by changing the lowering the percentage you can see now that you could see through it basically but keep in mind it's still a solid ribbon so we're gonna have to take it to the next step here in just a second but still basically that's how you take your ribbons and make a solid ribbon out of it uh, you may not know this but uh, on that Jenna picture uh, that was just one ribbon what I did is I kept duplicating the ribbon over and over and all I did was keep twisting it around and skewing it and distorting it into different shapes and saving them as separate layers and stretching them across the uh, background any way I felt like it but it was the same ribbon instead of sitting there making a new ribbon from scratch just take the same one and duplicate it alright so um, I don't like the red so let's get rid of that matter of fact I don't like that previous ribbon either so I'm going to go up the histogram and get rid of it too well let's just change it edit transform distort and just kind of change it a little bit there we go and then apply and move it where we need it and I'm gonna go back to the other one I don't like the color so let's go back to where it was and I need a different kind of blue how about that alright so what we're gonna do next is create a gradient we're gonna take it to the next step so take your solid ribbon and go to your um, magic wand and you want a marquee to go around it so you want to highlight this ribbon this solid object in a solid color and highlight the whole entire solid object so now you have a marqueed cut out 
that's uh, movable and solid and ready to drop stuff in. You could do that without it, but this is easier because uh, we're fixing to go up here to your tool palette. Underneath the uh, paint bucket tool is the gradient tool. I just right clicked on it and a menu popped up. So select the gradient tool and let's stretch out a gradient in here. Okay. See, that's not the best gradient. Let me make it a little darker. There we go. Okay. Now, that is a linear gradient, so ribbons don't always look linear. I want to use a radial gl uh, gradient. Stretch it across there and get it just about where I want it. Hmm. I'm going to flip the colors around. There we go. That's more like a ribbon. Because uh, ribbons have a a radio shine on it. So, um, let me take this gradient ribbon now. It's still a solid, opaque uh, image. Uh, but when you put it over another gradient, it seems to, like a chameleon, want to take its place within the gradient and hide. So it kind of looks cool when it does that. But it's still a solid ribbon, believe it or not. So what you want to do here is take the next step that I use and take your ribbon with a gradient and make it a transparency. Okay, now that's the ribbon, in case you can't see it. Uh, I'm going to take the opacity level and lower it into uh, whatever percentage I feel comfortable with. In this case it says 50, 52% for example. Uh, as you can see, in some situations, subtle is better. It's up to your eyes. In some situations, you really have to bold it out and just bring up the opacity real, real large and loud. Let yourself be seen. But uh, in this case, uh, I think that that kind of is eye pleasing right where it's at. Uh, now, just like I told you before, all of my Jenna ribbons were the same ribbon. So um, all I did was continue duplicating the layer and twisting them into different shapes. So what I'm going to do is select that ribbon's layer. I could either do that from this uh, layer palette or I could just right click on the actual ribbon itself and go up to layer, duplicate layer. And I'm just, I can give it a name or I, I let Photoshop call it layer 3 or copy or whatever. I'm going to hit OK. It looks darker. It's not It's not the same ribbon. It's darker because you're looking through two ribbons. So let me pull it up and there we go. We, got, we have uh, exact duplicate. A new layer.